Today I'm going to be showing you one of the best ways to conduct Etsy niche research and it's one of the most fun ways because we don't really have to steer it. The tool I'm going to show you just looks at competition as a function of search interest and by looking at both of those metrics essentially tries to serve us up recommendations could be any niche, could be a calendar niche, could be a fringe niche that you've never heard of. So you really don't know what you're going to get other than that it should be ideally high demand and low competition. Of course, it's print on demand, low barrier of entry. Those things can change very quickly, but I think we're going to have some fun today looking into some of these opportunities. So let's get to it. So let's dive right in. The tool we're going to use today is called Insight Factory. You can try them out using the link in the description. If you connect your shop to Insight Factory for free, they will send you recommendations based on what your shop is all about straight to your inbox. So check that out. I'm going to go ahead and click dashboard. So we get here to the back end and I am looking at the trends section. Okay. You can find that right up here. Okay. When you click trends and I want to actually show you some hand picked trending keywords that all have less than 100 competition, which makes them pretty prime opportunities. But first I just wanted to walk you through before I show you the hand pick trends. This is how you can discover, as I was mentioning earlier, really trends across many niches that are being sold on Etsy. For instance, you could just play it safe and click print on demand, right? I'm not going to say it's not fun, but you know, you can do a lot more fun things or different things than normal, uh, in insight factory. So I would say, Hey, go ahead and check it out. Like they've got printables, the wedding niche, business niches, clothing, home decor. You come down here, they've got a whole section of digital products that you can check out. You can scroll down further. They've got sub niches within weddings, like bridal showers, uh, within the clothing niche, they've got shirts, group shirts, jobs and professions, teachers and schools. Uh, cause awareness, mental health, dogs, foodies. So right away, we haven't even done anything and we're seeing really popular parent niches where a lot of sales are taking place. My recommendation actually is that anything you see here just on the, the very beginning of the trend research, which is at the trends page, these could be entire dedicated shops. Like you could dedicate an entire shop to any one of these. That's how big they are in terms of sales. Uh, I'm not saying you need to do that, but I'm saying you definitely could have like the foodie shop on Etsy. Okay. And let's just go ahead and click foodie and see what kind of uh, recommendations it comes up with. So these are recommendations based on listings that are representative of entire sub niches in the foodie niche on Etsy insight factories doing the dirty work for us though. They're not recommending, you know, the number one best selling sub niche that has 5,000 competition in it that we'd probably be wasting our time in. Okay. They're looking for the niches that are making sales, but also don't have like, they're not flooded with competition. For instance, uh, right here, baby Halloween costume sushi. Now is that print on demand? Well, you have to use your discretion there. Notice we didn't click on print on demand. We clicked on the niche itself, but this has a very strong sales signal. The four fire emoji basically saying the sales this week has been quite high and down here, it says the competition without ads, by the way, and that is 34 sellers. So that is a potentially easy to disrupt niche, but of course you'd have to find a way to put your own spin on it. Since I know most of us are print on demand sellers, right? We'd have to find a way of doing that, uh, probably using apparel, right? That we can outsource fulfillment to, uh, Dunkin' Donuts costume, sushi costume, sushi toddler costume. I mean, Hey, it's Halloween. So of course the food related costumes are, uh, trending here. Uh, by the way, you can go up here and click beginner friendly. Okay. And that will literally look for, uh, this is only available to paid plans by the way, but this will literally put the best of the best in front of us. Okay. So it's doing everything it possibly can to filter out anything where the competition is too high or the sales volume is too low. And it looks at that ratio. So the first one says, want to talk about Jesus. Let us pray. Mark 16, 15, uh, low competition, only 21. Um, two listings on the first page had sales this week. So the number of sales as a function of the number of comp competition, uh, is a pretty strong sales signal there. Uh, again, it's, it's tough these days finding low competition because we know print on demand, low barrier of entry. We already said that, uh, chips, salsa, margs, repeat. <laughs> That's a funny one. Uh, some costumes. We have the custom, uh, socks there. Oh, it's chocolate lab. So it's all the word chocolate. Thought it was food. Got that. 
Uh, if you can read it, bring me chocolate milk. Tacos Burritos 24. Love that. That's funny. Uh, 27 competition. Four listings have made sales on the first page. I put ketchup on my ketchup. So you see it's working, right? It's giving us recommendations within the foodie niche. That's all we asked it for. Okay. If you have a shop theme, you can go ahead over here and you can literally type into the search bar. So let's say you have a shop dedicated to nature. You could literally just type in nature. And then uh, I would recommend doing the beginner friendly aspect. Um, there's a sub niches bar here. So if you're selling nature shirts, go ahead and click shirt and it's going to do its best to look up nature themed shirts. Again, beginner friendly, get the best of the best and just start here, make a list, create some designs, you know the deal. Now I did mention that we had some handpicked trending keywords from the trending keyword tool. Um, I showed you, you can take it a bunch of different ways. These are actually spanning various niches. One was Halloween chicken nuggets. So we can actually plug that in and see what pops up. It looks like there are some trending shirts related to <laughs> like Halloween themed chicken nugget designs. I kind of expected to see costumes as well. Uh, I haven't actually looked into this, so this is fun. This has 98 sales a month. Interesting. This listing right here on the top, we can click view on Etsy, by the way, if you want to get a closer look here on Etsy.com. Uh, this was released on August 15th. Notice they put that right in front of us. We got the price, the views. It's done almost a thousand views in the last seven days. Uh, generated just about $300 in revenue. Uh, also, one of my favorite parts right here is the observed keywords. Okay, with the observed keywords, you literally get the long tail keywords associated with this listing that are helping drive sales and just in general, getting it indexed in search results. So right here, the observed keywords, definitely something to pay attention to. And if you missed how I did that, all you have to do is click any of the primary images on the left-hand side to trigger the advanced view. Let's check out a few more of these hand-selected trending keywords. So it looked like class of 2037. So 13 years from now, <laughs> class of 2037 trending shirt. Uh, let's see. So it looks like class of 2037 shirt grow with me shirt. So again, when you look at the advanced view, check this out class of 2037 grow with me guys. I mean, I don't have any expertise in this niche. Eventually I'll have kids. I don't have them yet. So I'm not looking for class of 2037 shirts, but grow with me is certainly a phrase you should consider including either in your SEO or potentially integrating it in your design. I wouldn't have known that without insight factory suggesting it, by the way, I'll put in the description of this video, the list, the hand selected list of trending keywords. There was one more I wanted to show you because I looked into this one before I recorded the video. It is baby hospital blanket sweatshirt. And I was like, what the heck is that? It sounds like an error. It is not an error. Okay. You can actually see right here. Uh, it's matching baby blankets to the sweatshirt that the mom can wear. All right. This one's actually for the nurses, but let's go to one right here. So mom established 2022, you would want to do the 2024 version. Okay. And then you would include the matching kind of themed blanket for the baby, uh, to the letters in the shirt. This is a, I love the idea. You know what I mean? Uh, two people have bought in the last 24 hours. You can see the more advanced statistics right here. Also a ton of long tail keywords. They call them observed keywords here. You can see the seven day stats. So it's done 18 sales in the last seven days. Uh, overall stats, 194 sales in the last 132 uh, days. So it's crazy that Inside Factory is tracking all of this for us and extremely powerful. Uh, we started off in the trend section. Now we are in the product research section. Okay. And this is where you're going to be able to drill down into entire niches, see all of the relevant statistics. Like you can see here, they've got the last sale column. They've got the monthly sales column. They've got the price column, the views, the release date. I didn't even mention it, but behind me, you can see the tags they're using. So if you see a, you see a listing that's doing, uh, in this case, the one that we just looked at 69 sales a month and you're like, Hey, they are doing really well with their SEO. Well, go ahead and copy their tags in one click and perhaps integrate them into your listing. Here's a newer feature on Insight Factory where they track 10,000 of the top performing Etsy shops so that we can just drill down into the data. What is not to love? One of the things that I've been finding useful, well, besides the fact that we can literally filter by things like their two day sales. So what shop has making the most sales over the last two days? That's actually the default filter. It looks like. So just scrolling down, we can see uh, what shops are just absolutely killing it. I mean, 
2,000 sales in 48 hours. That's insane. They sell sterling silver jewelry. Uh, I actually knew somebody that was like a top, I think was top 100 at the time, might've been top 50 uh, Etsy shop. And she had her whole like own supply chain where she sourced all this original sterling silver jewelry. So I know that that can be successful, but Etsy of course was giving her trouble. Um, you, you guys know that story. Come on now. Uh, anyways, let's go to shop creation date and I'm going to click that filter and we can actually look at new shops. Like what are shops that were created in the last month doing, you know, like what are the most successful shops created in the last month doing? So it is September 19th. I'm going to go to August 19th, 2024. Okay. Now we're looking at only recently created shops. And again, let's sort by, or it's default sorted by two day sales. So it looks like tarot readings theme shop is doing well. Uh, authentic cream apparel. So an apparel store doing quite well. 83 sales in the last two days. Uh, let's see if we can find it. Okay. And what do you know, actually, guys, this is a good live example. Okay. Somebody launched a, an apparel shop on August 20th. They did 83 sales over two days. What do you think they were selling? You know what I mean? They most likely were infringing as many Etsy sellers do. I know we've seen plenty of those examples in the past and now they are no longer selling on Etsy. Just a quick reminder that, uh, you know, it, it doesn't last, right? It does not last. Here's another way you can utilize the top 10,000 Etsy shop tool. So I refreshed it to reset the filters. You can go to title and by default it says contains. And let's say you wanna sell like coffee mugs and you wanna launch a mug shop. So why don't you spy on other mug themed shops just by typing in the word mug. Now all of the results, by the way, in terms of like most successful mug shops to least successful are in order right here in front of you. You could do something like nature, right? Now we're looking at more of a niche that's not related to the product type. It works, but then you're gonna get stuff outside of print on demand mixed in. So it's probably best to just stick to like print on demand themed. You could say candle and launch a candle shop. You could say shirt, launch a t-shirt shop, right? Uh, really whatever it is you wanna do. Uh, you can click any of these shops to get a more advanced view into their statistics. 300 sales in the last two days, 1.2 thousand. Uh, 1,200 sales in the last seven days, et cetera. Uh, total sales over 200,000, absolutely insane. And then you can scroll down and actually see the products in the shop. So check this out, right? This is insane. We're getting statistics on all of their products. Now let's say that we find a product that we're specifically interested in. So let's say maybe this right here, a uh, fall coffee shirt, okay? I'm gonna grab that. And I came back here to the trends tool, searched for fall coffee shirt based on what we just saw. And now I can go ahead and like click details, drill down further into this niche, into the opportunity. Uh, we've just seen this view recently, but now it's looking at other popular shirts indexed in this niche. We've got the tags, we've got more related phrases that we can kind of hone in on. If you scroll down further into the keyword research tool, you actually get popular tags related to this niche and to the best selling products indexed in this niche, that is extremely valuable. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the best selling tags to my clipboard and then I'm gonna go up here to the top. I'm gonna go ahead and say generate title, okay? And it's actually going to generate titles that we can utilize in our listings if we choose to sell in this niche for us using the magic SEO, okay? It's giving us options of examples up here as you can see. Uh, beyond that, guys, we can go to generate description. It's gonna take us to the uh, description generator that uses AI, the AI description writer. Uh, I was actually prepared to copy paste the tags, but it brought the tags over for me, so I didn't even need to click to copy the tags. There you go, they made it easier. I'm gonna click generate product description and check this out. Get into the spirit of spooky season with our adorable Halloween ghost pumpkin pumpkin spice latte shirt. You can tell I don't order them, but uh, I don't hate on people that do. I know they're delicious. This cute fall shirt in features a charming ghost with a beanie, perfectly capturing the fun of Halloween while celebrating your love for pumpkin spice lattes, ideal for women, etc., etc. What's not to love, guys? It's doing everything for us. It's giving us the high-level niches, helping us drill down into the sub-niches that are beginner-friendly as they define them, which means high, high demand, low competition. Almost said it backwards. 
Uh, it's letting us copy tags from bestsellers using AI to give us multiple title suggestions, using AI again and, and the existing tags to write descriptions for us. There's one last thing I wanted to show you, and that's that Insight Factory released their own custom GPT to help us write SEO optimized titles. Okay, and this is for free users. You just need an Insight Factory account and a ChatGPT account. Go ahead and click the generate title button and all you're going to need to do is basically give it some keywords to work off of. Why don't we stick with what we were just doing and say pumpkin spice latte. Let's say sweatshirt because it's fall. You know, I like sweatshirts in the fall. As you can see, I'm wearing a hoodie already. Pumpkin spice latte sweatshirt. And then just give it a minute to work. It's going to go pull real data from Etsy based on your keywords. And as you can see, it's generated some of the top ranking phrases from Etsy based on our keywords, pumpkin spice latte sweatshirt. So it's got pumpkin spice latte, fall coffee hoodie, cute pumpkin spice. Move down here, it's extracted seven phrases in total and generated five optimized Etsy titles using those phrases based on the phrases. Fall coffee hoodie, pumpkin spice latte sweatshirt, cozy fall gift, cute pumpkin spice latte sweatshirt, vintage fall sweater, PSL lover, Thanksgiving gift, pumpkin spice latte hoodie, fall coffee sweater. By the way, you can integrate these into the AI SEO tool that I just showed you. The better data you give it, the better outputs you're going to get. So not a bad idea there, guys. But as you can see here, a lot of ways to work with Insight Factory, their new GPT. It's great for research. It's great for optimizing the SEO of your listings. It's great for spying on the top Etsy shops in your niche. They do it all and it is linked in the description, guys. So go check them out. And even if you use a free account, they're going to send you some suggestions straight to your inbox once you connect it. So go ahead and make sure you do that, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you soon with another new video.